First National Memorial Field Coliseum at the Veterans Dome Stadium Complex. It's the fastest, deadliest, most ferocious sport on earth. Extreme dodgeball. This week, the playoff-bound Philadelphia Benjamins take on the Denver Hurlers, who are trying to lock up a spot in the playoffs. Plus, the high-powered Chicago Hitmen square off against the always volatile Detroit Spoilers. Welcome everyone, I'm Bill Dwyer. We're deep into our third season of Extreme Dodgeball. I'll tell you, this game is getting so huge, so global, it's going to need its own airspace. I'd like you to meet my partner, Zach Selwyn. World, Zach. Zach, world. Hello, world. We're in the midst of the most exciting season of dodgeball ever. Six teams fighting for bragging rights and a pretty cool trophy. These teams are the New York Bling, the LA Armed Response, the Philadelphia Benjamins, the Detroit Spoilers, Chicago Hitmen, and the Denver Hurlers. But they also fight for their share of $150,000 of prize money. And each team will be led by a celebrity captain who will play with their team in 10 regular season matches. The winner of each match, that's right, takes home $5,000. He's on back in the Lazy Boy. We've got four six-minute quarters, and it's all starting right now. It's the Philadelphia Benjamins taking on the Denver Hurlers. Let's toss it down to the Merck, Michelle Merck, and she's on the floor with team introductions. Now entering the arena, a team that always outperforms the U.S. dollar. Give it up for the Philadelphia Benjamins! Well, the Benjamins are... Shoulder and not playing. Chris Bullis averages four and a half kills in one catch a game. Art Spiegel averages five and a half kills a game. Then there's Morgan Ty, six and a half kills per game. Justin Hill leads the team with an eight kill per game average. Then Mia Parler's good for one catch a game. Finally, Lisa Marshall, she averages one kill, one catch per match. The Benjamins are playing without Jeremiah Trotter today. There's his replacement, Big Paul Billy Jean, not my lover. He's playing in his first match ever. Trotter, he's going to be sitting on the bench crying during the second quarter the big ball time that's trotter time it's merkin time right now she's got their opponents they come from high altitude and they bring a major attitude it's the denver hurlers well the mile high hurlers what can be said about this woman right here Kara Dikidis. many gold medals in the x game bobby squid row averages five and a half kills daniel pigman six kills two catch per game average micah moses his ball brother four and a half kills a game adrian the cool Kiwis is good for three kills spaz davis leads the team with seven kills a game and linda overhue no kills no catches she's hot though with the win today, they can clinch a spot in the playoffs. And it should be a little easier playing a Philadelphia team that's without their big captain, Jeremiah Trotter. Jeremiah Trotter is on the bench with a strained shoulder. The injury has been slowly developing over the course of the season. He doesn't want to be a detriment to his team, so he has taken himself out of the game. Paul Jean will be filling in for Trotter. Welcome to the big leagues, Paul. Back to you, Bill. Thanks, Michelle. Sure, Paul Jean on paper can fill in for Trotter, but there's no filling in for Trotter. None whatsoever. Imagine extreme dodgeball is four six-minute quarters. But wait, there's more. For a detailed breakdown of all the rules, check this out. Bad news first. You get hit by a ball, someone catches you throw, or you step on or over the center line, you're out. The ball hits you and the teammate, you're both out. You can use a ball for defense, but if it gets knocked out of your hand by another ball, you're out. Your team holds two balls for more than five seconds. The ref can give you a yellow card. Keep it moving. Here's the good news. The ball hits the floor of the wall, it's dead. Headshots don't count. When your team catches a ball, one of your out players comes back in. And there's no out of bounds, so feel free to walk up and down the walls. Each team is made up of seven players, but only five players allowed on the court at any one time. When your team gets down to only one player, if he or she can survive for 30 seconds, one player from the bench can come back in. Team gets wiped out completely, it'll regenerate from the bench, but with only four players. Now the scoring. One point for a kill, one point for a catch, and one point bonus for a wipeout of the other team. Team with the most points at the end of four, six minute quarters wins the match at $5,000. Let's head down to the attack circle where head referee Chris Iowa Pierce is about to begin the match. Billy, are you ready? ready. Denver, are you ready? On the way. Opening rush of the first quarter. Each team with the ball. Spiegel Dawson. 
Uh, leave the circle. Beagle did not get out of the attack circle. circle. One of the first rules you learn in elementary school dodgeball. You gotta be out of the attack go, circle guys. before you make a throw. Spaz and Micah going for a simul. Alfred. Second rule in elementary school dodgeball. Stop eating the ball. No, no, don't, don't stop. Oh, Mark McGrath, Gene, with his first throw of the day. Look at the young rookie the called up from AAA Columbus to replace go, the guys. irreplaceable Five, Jeremiah Trotter. Terry Dekinis with the dodge there. Everybody dodging well early on in this game. The bald one, Dano and Moses cannot Let's connect. Five. Wow, they're going to Gene a lot here early on. He's and guess out. what? He's registered his first kill. He knocks out the captain, Terry Dekinis. Philly, the first point of this match, a full minute into it. And then Paul Jean tasting the sweet sting of the dodgeball for the first time is off to the bench. We're tied up at one. Chris Bullis, Morgan Hay, they've got a ball. Simon throw here. And they nail Bobby Rowe. Philly up 2-1. Denver comes into this match 4-4. Four four. They need a win here to lock up a playoff spot. They need it. Five seconds to throw it when you're facing off against someone. This becomes a game of chicken when each team gets five seconds. Sure does. Remember, only oh, one team has to throw within that five seconds. And here comes Kingman and Moses, both barrels. They take down Bullets. That leaves Spiegel, Hay, and Palmer to face off against Spaz, Kingman, and Moses. Spiegel and Hay loading up for the throw. They got him. There goes Micah Moses. The strong players are going out. Only five points total on the board. These teams are extremely evenly matched. Oh, great catch by Morgan Hay. No, hey. not a catch. No, he says it hit the wall. We got a whistle blown here. Morgan Hay is one of the stats leaders on this team, and he could be one of the players you vote for later in the show when GSN and Burger King let you have it your way by selecting today's Burger King King of the Court. Keep your cell phone handy. Refs talking about whether Hay caught this ball from Kingman. Yeah, you can see here on the replay, Hay does catch it, avoids a blue ball thrown by Spaz, catch is good, Kingman's out, Philly up 4-2. So there you have it, Morgan Hayes, catch is good, Dano Kingman goes to the bench, and Spaz Davis was the last man standing for two seconds, but he gets wiped He's out. He's out, Spaz going with the hat this match. Linda Overhue, nice dodge there. That was a nice dodge, Bill, That's rare to dodge. see that from Overhue. Usually she's out in the first two seconds. Kiwis, Kiwis, he is with the face paint. Kiwis hit parlor there. Look at the hustle from Philly's Morgan Hay. Scoops up the ball from the other side of the court, passes it off to Justin Hill. Hill and Spiegel double barrel. And out goes Overhue. Hey, over here. Over here. Oh, she goes out. She kind of hung around thinking no one saw it. That was as clear as Jared my kid. great dodge there. Getting up high, getting some air, I believe the kids call that. The captain of this Let's squad. Go. Both of you. Both he of is. you. Both of you got five. Five Kiwis. second count from Chris Lou to Chris Pierce. For some Two. reason, even though Kiwis One. and Bobby Rohr are also on the court, Dakitas has a ball. Yeah, very interesting five. right there. Great move Four. by the captain. Give it up to your five. stronger thrower who quickly knocks out Morgan Hay. Morgan Hay out. Bobby Rowe. Oh, he's, he's like got he's that switch move. Up. That yeah. got him. It finally worked for Justin Hill. He fakes right, he throws left. He's ambidextrous. Yeah, he, he does five. everything with both oh. hands. Lucky guy. He was big throw there from the lanky one. Oh, he just one. misses. Here to Kiedis. Dakitas and Kiwis. Here we go, Hill and Spiegel. That's it for Dakitas. 9-4 Philly lead. Smuggling Kiwis is out there alone. He's the last freak standing for Denver. Kiwis, better hustle up here. Weak toss for Adrian Kiwis. That one a little bit better. Can't connect. Kiwis, Kiwis beat on him. dodge. Ooh, the Off the wall. Floor. Here comes Kiwis. Big dodge by Hill. Hill, the king of the no never ending. Toss. Kiwis, got to take advantage. Five-point lead for Philadelphia over Denver. Nine. Brings Micah Moses back out. Guys, Both balls on the Denver side of the court. Big advantage for them. <laughs> nice dodge by Hill. That didn't get him. I don't think he got Spiegel either. Didn't get anybody. That's that one, it. Man. Hill goes out. And look who the last man standing is once again. Art Jonathan Livington Spiegel. First toss. Moses almost falling for at Spiegel's game there, but Spiegel knows what he's going to do. 
Gonna hang back, regenerate the clock. Ten Since Spiegel threw the last one, I think you gotta make Moses throw this one. Micah Moses hands it off to Adrian Kiewis. This is big! Now it's just the regeneration clock happens. Lisa Marshall comes out onto the floor for the Benjamins. Kiewis and Moses cannot take down Art Spiegel there. Looks like they're gonna reload and go after Art again. And again, Spiegel with the dodge. The little man is hard to take out. Now the Beach Tiger gunning for the ghoul. Does not. He was the Moses going after Spiegel again. And they got him. That's Big it. Mill of Spiegel. Spiegel goes out. Here's oh, where you got to be careful. Marshall. Yeah. Got to be careful here. Needs to hang on. Play defense. Stay alive for another 20 seconds. Got to regenerate a player. Philly trying to protect that three point lead. She gets wiped out. It's two points for Denver. She's Good point, Zach. He was his relentless. Go, you got to go. Five. That's big for Marshall. Takes Three, a look at the nothing in the air. He's gonna be able to regenerate. You better watch it. Good play nothing there by there. Marshall. Nothing in the air, and she regenerates. Inside, Jean right before the kill. Oh! But Jean was in. That is not a wipeout. He's got 10 seconds. The six foot five, 230 pound former minor league hockey player. Big ball right oh, now. Jean holding out for the last two seconds. Oh! Jean the wall. He's out. That's a wipeout, and that means the hurlers tie it up. A huge last minute shot there by Adrian Kiwis to nail the rookie Paul Jean. He gets hit subbing for Jeremiah Trotter while trying to climb the wall like he did back in his minor league hockey days. This one's all knotted up nine to nine. Paul Jean trying to climb the wall but he couldn't escape that beautiful simul throw from the hurlers Moses and Kiwis. Second quarter coming up right after this. Take a short break. Don't go anywhere. We're back. It's time for the start of the second quarter. The second quarter also means the big ball is in play. In the Renaissance period, the big ball would have been the ideal woman. They liked him Zoftig. The big ball is worth two points if you get someone out with it. Let's head down to the floor for the start of the second quarter. On the whistle. Oh, tab of nine. There's the opening rush of the second quarter. And look at it. Oh, the big ball goes right big into the hands time. of Hill, but he's quickly knocked out. Hill goes out, Gary Spaz Davis, big heads up play, going to the side of the attack, getting out quick. Sarah, Sarah, you're up. Bullis takes down Dakitas. Pierce not getting any free lift tickets from Dakitas this winter. And Spaz caught by Bullis. And a big ball Red. killed by Spiegel. Big hit from the big ball, Art Spiegel. A big, a big play, that was too. a Jeremiah Trotter move right there. He just ran up to the center line and knocked him out. He learned from his injured captain, didn't he? Sure did. Trotter watching the game. This is his Locked. favorite. Oh, that's a catch. That's a big catch, catch there. Bobby Lisa Rowe. Marshall, a deflection with a small ball off the big ball. And Marshall able to grab that deflection. Oh, and Kingman goes yeah. down. Big yeah. order for the Benjamins on the wipeout the right there. That's What's a the deuce. Wipeout? A point for the kill, a bonus point for the wipeout. Philly's up 16-10. Benjamins have outscored Denver 7-1 first minute of this quarter. Over Let's he go, runs guys. with that you ball, she just need to get rid of it as quickly as possible and just try to stay off the court somewhere. Spaz and Kiwis, they take down Hay. Spiegel, Bullis, they've each got a ball now. Here's the Simon. Down goes the ghoul, he can't hang on to that one. Oh, and then Spaz comes right back and takes out Bullis. Denver hanging within five. Spaz Davis asking the overview for the ball. She's not giving it up. What's she doing? Spiegel takes out over here right now. Head ref Chris Pierce pulling a yellow card on Linda Overhue for a delay of game. Denver had two balls on their side. Overhue didn't throw a ball. She's going into the penalty box. All right, it's going down now. If Overhue gets hit by a ball, it's a point for Philly, and she's out. She steps out of the box on the dodge. Two points for Philly. Overhue's out again. She dodges and catches a throw. No points are awarded to anybody. Everybody's safe. Got it. Looks like Paul Jean's going to take this shot for the Benjamins. Here comes the throw. Oh, oh good. Oh, Where'd you so catch that, on. Zach? Yes. He put that one in the bread basket, and uh, if I'm over here, I'm, I'm going to go do some ab work. On the whistle, guys. That's a point right there. Benjamin's up by six. The hurlers. This is not a big lead at all. Guys, Plenty of time two. left in this quarter. Let's go. Five. Second half coming up. Four. Spaz Three. and Tara just hanging oh. out with each other in the back, squatting, kicking it. 
Spaz. He's still got two. An unusually weak throw there from Spaz Davis. Art Spiegel handing the ball off to Paul Jean there. Look at that, Zach. Looks like Paul Jean is a replacement for Trotter. He's injured himself. Limping around the court. Well, that could be the break the hurlers need going after an injured player. They're down six. Oh, all they need right now are some points. Dakitas drops a big ball. Go. Good for her. Davis, nothing She's happening. She's a team player. Gives it up to Spaz. He makes a great dodge. Tara Dakitas tracks down the rebound. Oh, look at crazy Spaz. arced wall. Not many players use the entire court the way these two guys do. Spaz and Spiegel. Spaz gets the ball. Big catch. In comes Moses. Point for the hurlers. Spaz Davis, he wants that $5,000. It's going to go to the winner of this game. Yes. Ooh, Paul Jean getting his first taste of a Once fastball again, towards his midsection. Right now, with the way Spaz is playing. Oh, Micah Moses goes out. Big catch. Too easy of a throw. A lot of heat on it. No Four, movement. Two, it's all about making that thing dance, Bill. Oh, and that oh. one takes out Gary Spaz Davis. Terry Dakitas. You got two. You got to go. You got two. Arms covered. She's got to move. Let's go. Get two balls. She's begging Four. for help. Look at the agony on Paul Jean's face. Beautiful. He looks like he's in pain. That ankle's made him immobile. It must have, because I wouldn't have Marshall and Parler throwing if Gene was 100%. All right, so the refs are going to stop play so they can take a look at Paul Gene. I'll tell you right now, Gene is hobbling a little bit. Got a little gangsta right, limp fans, going on, fans, which I think is kind of hardcore. But uh, we're going to bring out our $4 an hour medic to investigate this problem right here. Welcome to the big leagues, Gene. This is the show. This ain't no AAA hockey. And while they're taking a look at Paul Jean, we're going to take a short break. Be right back after this. Welcome back to Extreme Dodgeball. I know Zach is so excited. He's eating stat sheets. Let's head down to the floor. Now, before we went to break, ref stop play so the medic could take a look at the injured ankle of Paul Jean. Here's to have injured it on this play here in the first quarter. It is the medic's determination that number 80 on the Philadelphia team is injured and cannot continue with the game. So he is removed from the game. The hurlers are awarded one point. You're up. Now, that does not mean that they will play with a maximum Game of four. No. The They'll still be able to put five players on the court at the start of the second quarter, but they're only going to be playing with six. And the hurlers captain, Jared Aquinas, is able to regenerate Bobby Rowe. Rowe comes off the bench, and he's quickly throwing. You got to think that Denver has the advantage now Let's go. with five, an injured four, Benjamin three. team. Catch there. Catch. Bobby Rowe next. Oh. Big one two punch from Rowe. The catch and the toss. Right and the hits. Three point game right now, away. Philadelphia. Let's go. Daniel Kingman and Rowe. Kingman hits Hay after good. the. back though they're only down by three right now okay. benjamin's 21 okay. denver hurlers 18. well called by three. the old uh, head ref two. chris pierce you gotta watch it oh, it's daniel kingman he's got to realize that terry nikitas loves to hang Let's out go. with that big ball oh, sure and she does. hangs out in the burger king oh. corner tara nikitas her way would be her sitting in that corner behind go, the big guys. ball for as long as she can. Sure would, Bill. Let me tell you something right now. Great deflection by Tara. She keeps Daniel Kingman alive. Team playing That's right now. Tara Dikitas oh, keeping the, the big ball there. Helping out Daniel Kingman. Go. He hides. Actually go. hid behind Four. Tara Dikitas. Oh, big catch by Bullis. And what Parler do? Look at her off the wall. I'm not sure if she thinks that's the door or what. Well, it's big catch for Philly. And then Dakitas with the kill for Denver. Takes out Parler. Under a minute to go. Denver needs to keep it close here. Win today. Clinches a playoff spot. They need to keep the pressure on. Philly already in the playoffs. Dakitas having it her way. Little block of the blue ball. Oh, oh. Dakitas trying to come out. Now she's Great got both dodging balls. going on right now. She's got to move it along. Let's go. She's got That's all the it. balls over there, but she successfully brings in Kiwis. Here comes Adrian. Kiwis, big advantage right now for the hurlers. Sure, they're down a couple of players, but Kiwis comes in, takes out Art Spiegel. Still got two. Kiwis with a fresh arm. I'll tell you right now, if Denver Four. comes back in this game Three. and before this half is over, Philadelphia is going to really have to overanalyze their their technique for the second two. half. And who better than your captain Skip. Trotter to lead Skip. you through this? And Mark and Meyer. 
And who better to overanalyze than me and you, Zach? Absolutely. Two seconds left. Last throw of the quarter right here for Ray. Bullis! This is good. Bullis goes out. Kiwis for the big catch. Kiwis, big catch at the end of the quarter. He loves the end of the quarter catch. He sure does, Bullis. Thought he had him in his sights, threw that thing at the buzzer, and Kiwis just said, I'm snapping that thing up like a turtle. Here's a woman whose shell is hard to crack, Michelle. All right, Spiegel, there's been a bad run of luck with the big boys of the Benjamins. How is it playing with another man down? Well, you know, dodgeball is a tough sport. It seems like it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of jokes going around, but this is serious competition. People get injured. People play hard for the money, and we're facing some of that trauma right now. It's a one-point game. Let's see if you can do it. Are you feeling confident? I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Feeling loose. Feeling sexy. Art Spiegel is feeling sexy. Back to you, boys. <laughs> injuries. Injuries are always such a huge part of dodgeball. Look at this wonky eye I got in the last game. It's crazy. We're going to take a short break, see if we can straighten that out. Be right back after this. Welcome back to Extreme Dodgeball. It's halftime here. Philly's up 22-21 over Denver. It's been a busy day here at the first National Memorial Field Coliseum at the Veterans Dome Stadium Complex. Let's take a look at some earlier action. It was the Chicago Hitmen taking on the Detroit Spoilers. At 0-8, Detroit was desperate to finally win some cash, but Chicago wasn't about to let that happen. And it didn't take long for Chicago to establish their dominance. They wiped out the entire Detroit team in under one minute. When the refs question this apparent kill by Detroit's Strati Hovardes on Chicago captain Hal Sparks, Hovardes lost his cool. And the team is He's throwing a cooler onto the floor. There's ice everywhere. There's water bottles everywhere. And this crowd loves it. Hovardes continued his tirade until he was eventually ejected from the match. He's red carded. His team limps into the second quarter, down by eight. In the second, playing a man down, Detroit showed plenty of heart as they scratched and clawed their way back into the game. There's a kill for Tone. Three. A catch by Kimberly Estrada. Cutting into Chicago's lead, they narrowed their deficit to only three points at halftime. Here you go. Detroit. The spoilers tried to carry their second quarter momentum into the second half. Toad goes out, but the playoff bound hitman asserted their dominance, outscoring Detroit 14 to 4 in the quarter. At the end of three, it was Chicago leading by 13. Here we go. Fourth quarter, dead man walking. Fourth quarter meant more of the same for the hapless spoilers as Chicago relentlessly poured it on. David Rice oh. over the line. When it was all said and done, Chicago dealt Detroit their ninth consecutive loss of the season. And the Hitmen earned another five grand with their 52 to 36 drubbing of the spoilers. It's been a long season for Detroit, but a thrilling season for Extreme Dodgeball fans. And earlier today, Zach and I had a chance to chat with the commissioner of Extreme Dodgeball, Mr. Rip Torn, up in his luxury skybox. Here's what the commission had to say. Well, we're up here with the commissioner of Extreme Dodgeball, Mr. Rip Torn. How you doing? Good commissioner, to see you. great first All right, season. Bill. Nice yes, to meet you again, thank sir. You, sir. It's a pleasure. Yeah. And thank you for that meatloaf you sent us for Christmas last year. That oh, was wonderful. Oh, I wasn't my meatloaf. I'm the man who sent you the turkey. Okay. A giving, giving man, the commissioner. And this year, you've given us a roster, a cavalcade of colorful players. Tell us some of your favorites. Who do you like? Well, I'm not supposed to uh, mention my favorites, but I. Uh, Perry Walsh, you know, gold medalist. Certainly. She's got the strongest throw for a woman in the league, and the great uh, Jeremiah Trotter. I mean, linebacker for the Philadelphia Eagles. I mean, he's just head up, exciting uh, individual, and we're lucky to have two him. great celebrity captains yes, right there. Absolutely. Certainly. The development of these players. I know they come up through the minor leagues, the streets. You know, they're playing in the schoolyards. Uh, yeah. How have you been responsible for encouraging these guys that you know there might not be a lot of money yet in the endorsement world? Maybe this sport could pay off in the future. Did you say there was some money involved? There might be. Okay, let me go call somebody about that. Can we get him a phone? We right. need to get yeah, him a phone no, right we now. We gotta go right now. The commissioner, okay, I'll see you later. Very busy man. Sure. Yes. Pleasure. Thank you. Here, I'm so Let's play some dodgeball. Let's play some dodgeball. There he is now, Beautiful. showing his love for the crowd. All right, we're gonna head down to the floor. Uh, 
Somebody approved him. It's Dodgy, our dodgeball mascot. Who's Zach? 60 seconds on the clock. Screen dodgeball, I've got two words. What a game. I got two words. Injuries hurt. We saw Trotter go out. His substitution, Paul Jean, lasted barely three minutes, and now he's gone. Denver better capitalize on this. Let's go down to the floor for the start of the third quarter. Denver, are you ready? Billy, are you ready? Ready. On the whistle. Billy leading 22-21. The second Jean half switch. begins. It's a one-point game, and the hurlers out quickly, easily grabbing both balls. Team switch sides, as you remember. Houston Hill, mano a mano, ball oh ball oh. One of them's got to throw in the next five seconds. Hill misses Keywis. Now Denver's got both balls, Bill. And here comes Kingman and Keywis. Sano throwing their heads. Did they take out Hill? Right Big hit right, right there. there. Oh, Hill goes down. Ref Chris Pierce says it got him. He got hit on the hip, which was a cool term in about 96 when you had a pager. Hey, dude, hit me on my hip. That's another hit on Terry Dikitas. Hayes ball hits Dikitas on the foot. She's out. Benjamin's up by one. And here comes the ghoul. And he nails Parler. He was then gets nailed by Morgan Hay. And then Hay goes out. He crossed the center line. Here comes Denver, double barreled. Good dodge by Spiegel. We got a close. Ah! Oh, he goes out after a great dodge. Hitting his tailbone. He's on the floor now. Benjamins can't afford to lose anybody else, and Arch Beagle has a delicate tailbone. He sure does, and Chris Bullis is the last you. man standing. Spaz trying to take him out. Benjamins down by one. Chris Bullis has a delicate yeah, nothing. Great catch there, Gary Spaz. Davis goes out. He brings in Lisa guys, Marshall. That was one of the got bigger got throwing five. females in the league. Perfect catch there by Bullis. He dropped one ball and just grabbed the other one. There's a new red ball in the court after the other one leaves the playing field, and Bobby Rowe has it along with Dano Kingman. And Marshall can't handle Bobby Rowe's throw. She goes out. Bullets, last man standing for Philly. They cannot afford mistakes like that when they're losing to this Denver squad. Rowe catch. Still a play ball. That's not going to help the cause. Big Hurlers. catch there for Rowe. Wipes out the let's team. Go, let's go, guys. Dana wants a red ball. Bobby Rose holding him back to the center line. Leaving the red ball there is bait. Four, we got the three, four, three, two, one. Crowd is taunting Bobby Rowe a little bit. Philly down by three, 28-25. Hill Hay side. What a catch! Hill and Hay, Rowe and gobbles it up. Catch and a hit. Who knows which one he got first? The catch is good. Players then hit on the arm. One point each. One point for each they team, player but advantage hurlers with the catch. They're able to bring the end. Disadvantage hurlers, it's Linda over here. Off the wall, the bald men toss. Nothing happening. The bullet head brothers going at it and getting a big handful of nothing. The bullet boys, as they like to be called, after their favorite glam out, hair metal band out, of the 80s. Out, hey, over here's out, what are you doing? Yes. Oh, she's arguing with Pierce. Pierce Let's will go. call a yellow. Let's Guess go. what? That's her second one of the game if she's arguing. And Chris Pierce throws the banana. Second yellow card for Linda Overhue. After this shot, she's out of the game. And the conclusion of play results in a red card. Uh, she will be removed from the rest of this game. I'll tell you right now, right, not a huge loss for the hurlers. Overhue is a quick point almost every time she gets on the court. When you're ready. I think this is actually an advantage for Denver. Her, but it doesn't matter. No point. No Morgan point there. Hey, and Linda over here. She's out big time. Match. Helping out her team just before exiting. There you have it. Over here was out. Billy now with the two. And down goes Parler. Micah Moses and Dano with the that big That means teams are at even strength. Let's Only go. six active players Five. for each team. Absolutely, Bill. This is a very interesting thing we're about to see here. This is going to be a war of attrition. Right now, Denver has a three-point advantage. I'm going to say Denver has an advantage in roster, too. Great double kill by Dan O'Kingman and Micah Moses at Denver. They're up 31-27 over Philly. Morgan Hayes, the last man standing. He's got 20 seconds left on that regen clock to bring in Justin Blueberry Hill. Denver's got to take advantage of this opportunity. Up four, it's going to be a two-point white bar. Remember, they clinch a playoff first with a victory here today. Now, Philly's known as a come-from-behind team, so Denver needs to rack up the points while they can. Well, that was a good sequence there. 
be generated Justin Hill, 219 left in the quarter. Each team has a ball. One. The Morgan donor. Can't quite connect. And Micah Moses right back at Hay. Nice dodge by Morgan. Hi. Hill hands the ball off to Hay, getting ready to set up the Simon. Simon throw coming up here from Philly. Moses out. That one got number 41, Micah Moses. A block by Hill. Oh, oh, what a great oh, catch right. by Kingman. Great catch by Kingman. Tara Dekeet is in. She's got no big ball to hide behind. Advantage oh, hurlers, though. 2-1. Both of you got to go. Here we go. Is Five. it me or does Tara Dekeet just always look like she's on Three. a snowboard? Jared Akitas, best balance in the league, perhaps? Gotta be. Look at her, she never falls over. And, did she get a kill? Oh, a double catch by Morgan Hay! Oh, man! What a play by Morgan Hay! Down goes Kingman, down goes Dakitas. And up go the Benjamins to 31, trailing only by one. A minute 15 left in the third. Wow. That's making the year-end highlight reel right there. And a quick kill of Kiwis ties it up for Philly, 32 apiece. Nice dodge, and by Bolas, that blue ball just went out of bounds. New blue ball goes in. Hey, and Marshall right there to grab it. I'm smelling a Philly Simo throw. It's Hay and Bolas. Gary Spaz, Spaz Davis. Davis. He got hit. Oh, Spaz says I didn't hit him. He's got you. you got He's out. He almost got a little. Oh, that one's off the camera. You are out. You are out. Morgan Hay he says no. He's wrong. Pretty much every time you argue with the refs, you're wrong. It's all knotted up. 33 apiece. Bullock. Rose. Marshall. What a catch by Rose. What a catch. I may have gotten hit by that second ball thrown by Lisa Marshall. Black and White's gonna take a look. Replay shows Bullis' ball is caught by Rowe. Lisa Marshall's blue ball doesn't hit him. Rowe stays in, Bullis goes out. Bringing in Tara Dekitas. Whistle on, 25 seconds left in the third. One point game yeah. here. That's it. Oh, that looks like a shot. Got it, got it. Got it, that's a wipe out for the hurlers. Big play for the hurlers, and if they want to get any of these points back, Marshall needs to get off the court faster. Faster. They Let's got a go. ball on their side Let's of the go. court. Well, they We're just took way too there. much time. What were they thinking? Lollygagging around. Looks Bobby to me. Yeah. Oh, oh, big point for the Benjamins. Big at break. the end of the quarter. It off. Picking up an extra point just before the buzzer. Hurler's still up, 36-34. Denver over Philly. We're heading into the fourth quarter. Big play at the end of that quarter there. We got a barn burner here going into dead man walking. 36-34, Denver over the Philadelphia Benjamins. They're running rampant down there on the court. You run somewhere, it don't take too long because we're coming back with the fourth quarter right after this. Denver hurlers with a two-point lead over the Philadelphia Benjamins heading into this fourth quarter. Fourth quarter means dead man walking. It sure does, Bill. Let's go down to the floor. Spiegel and Spaz are the dead men. No whistle. Denver up by a deuce. Hey, there's the opening rush of this dead man walking period. And look at that. For about the eighth time this season, Bullis tumbles over the center line like boy George. He'll tumble for him. Bullis, and it absolutely makes him sick when that happens. You can tell he's disgusted with himself. Big oh, kids hit by Daniel Kingman. That's huge, and I'll tell you, especially this, these are two of the best dead men in the game, Spaz and Spiegel. You've seen them. They're arch rivals. Lisa Marshall. Bobby Rowe. Oh, and Nick the, there. It, it got him. Nick him. Got him on the arm hair. Rowe going to the bench. Three point lead for Denver. That's big for the Benjamins. Dead man walking for the hurlers. Gary Spaz Davis. Dead man walking for the Benjamins. Art Spiegel. Spaz on Spiegel. Spiegel's got three kills today. Spaz has two, but the big man, Micah Moses. He's got six, make it seven. That was big there. Lisa Marshall got hit with that second ball. You can right, see her ball. legs Five, jiggling. Four, Not much to jiggle there. Here's a big man Marshall's from Philly. Shape. Big man from Philly is Morgan Hay right now. He's got go. eight kills Five, and four catches. Four. Great game. Oh, and that's, that's huge right game. there. And protecting his dead man the best way possible by making a catch. Absolutely. Here comes Mia Parler. And then they knock out Takitas, and that exposes Spaz. Dead man Spaz Davis forced to play up. If Philly can take him out, they'll tie this thing up. Two. One. He's 
out. Mia Parla can't make that catch. Big kill for Moses there. Morgan Hayes got a good arm. Go here, Nothing guys. there. Easily deflected by Gary Spaz Davis. And remember, if the dead man goes out, they have to. Oh, what a catch! Another one by Hayes. That's his sixth of the match. Oh, hey, so easy for him. Let's go. As Let's I was go. saying, if Spaz five. goes out, the dead man becomes the next guy in. You gotta go again. You got two. Of their choice, of course. But Spaz doesn't go out very often, does he, Bill? Spaz, he's gonna be spending some time out there. Probably will regenerate a teammate. When he does, I'm assuming it will. It's gonna be Adrian Kiwis. But he's in danger now. They gotta take advantage right here. If they knock him right now, it's a three-pointer. And they got it. No. Hit the wall first. Pierce with a great call. And Spaz regenerates Adrian Kiewis. And he makes a huge catch. Man, that's how catch, you do it. Hit. One each. You heard Pierce there. Kiewis made the catch, then got hit. So it's point for each team. Does bring in Bobby Rowe. Go, guys. Go, guys. Rowe's got a ball. Sam and Rowe Two. gunning for Spiegel. That's a block. Nice block there by Bullis. Spiegel will throw it as the dead man. He's got to aim low, though. Oh, See Bobby, that? Bobby Rowe goes out. Hit the wall. Dangerous, though, for Spiegel. If he's caught, that's a two-point ball. Let's go, guys. Both of you. Bullis, this will be blocked. Here Here's Spaz! Oh. Now went between his legs. So close. Spaz without a ball. He's got his dodge now, using the walls very effectively. That's Nicely done. Look at him off the wall! He's Going. doing cartwheels! <laughs> Dan O'Kinman, great play by Spaz Davis. Four. All three. over the place. Taking a well deserved no, no, break. No, no, no. Bull is taking down Dan O'Kinman. Dan o tried to make the catch there. It hit him in the hands and then hit the wall before he could catch it. He is out. Billy has tied this thing up at 41 apiece. Denver with a win here, clinches his final playoffs. Billy is in. Let's go. Spaz ED, as they call him. Now, that didn't even come close. We could tell from up here. I'll tell you. Just about at the two. Oh, 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 oh. That's big. Hey, the Huge. Benjamins take the lead with that hit and wipe out of the hurlers. Just before the two-minute warning, I'll tell you, if there's any momentum you want going into the final two minutes, it's a dead man walking kill that completely wipes out the team, giving you a three-point play. If anyone told Art Spiegel and Spaz Davis they were supposed to be tired because they're only playing with six guys, they weren't listening. A lead change right before the two-minute warning. Don't go anywhere. This one's not over yet. We'll be right back. Denver Hurlers giving up a big three-point play right before the two-minute warning. Billy up 44-41. We got two minutes to play. Let's head back to this masterpiece. The game is on the whistle. On the whistle. Now remember, you can replace any players you want during the two-minute warning break. And Bullis goes down. Denver within two. Spiegel, not a last man standing. Art Spiegel. Go. Five. He is exceptional Four. as the last man standing. Three. Spiegel. Two. Boy, the pressure he must be feeling right now. Yeah. Spiegel's one of the most uh, used to this go situation kind of players in the game. Five. Four. Some people say Three. this is the tensest situation Three. in all of sports when you're the dead man walking and the last Five. man standing. Four. Five. Spiegel looks like he's going to be able to regenerate. You know what? He, he does. Three throws right there. Very well played by Spiegel. Don't throw anything catchable. It's like not throwing strikes to Barry Bonds. And the hurlers Four. missed a big opportunity there to grab a rebound. Now Three. Spiegel will play back and he'll play up. He's out. Oh, that hit him. Takes out Micah Moses. That's big by Let's Hay. Go guys. You got two. You Remember, $5,000 on the line here. That's what the Four. winning team gets to take home. I call it a seesaw battle, but I've seen seesaws fight, and it is boring. Morgan Hay goes down. It's 45-43, Philly. Spiegel again, the last man standing, and the dead man walking. Denver can knock him out here. They take the lead by one. 45 seconds left. This is what championship extreme does. It's all about Bill. I am so happy to be here. Absolutely. Bobby Rowe, this could be big. Nothing right there. Spiegel is such a smart player. He's not going to make any dumb plays. Both balls on the hurler side of the court. And got to get him back. He regenerates again. But. No, it's off the wall. No, it's Rowe. off the wall. Rowe wanted five, that one. Guys. Four. Yep. 
umpires say no dice. Bobby Rowe can't make the catch. That was a big play. Another big play by Justin Hill. Now you got to hold on to the ball here. You're up four. Do not let Art Spiegel get hit. Protect Art Spiegel. Justin Hill, suicide lead. Oh, it doesn't matter. Philly wins this thing by three, 47-44. Great job, great strategy. Oh, my goodness gracious. At the beginning of this one, I didn't think Philadelphia had a shot with no Trotter and no Gene. But lo and behold, Art Spiegel and the rest of the Philadelphia Benjamins able to hold off and take home $5,000. Denver's left themselves in a tough position. Now next week's game against Detroit is must win for them. They need a win next week in order to clinch that playoff spot. They let a golden opportunity slip by here against the Philly team. Two injured players. Michelle, what do you got? It's all about the Benjamins right now. Are you proud of your team? You know what? I'm so excited. They came through. That's why we're as good as we are. Everybody stepped Woo! up. We came yeah. through when we needed the most. We're in the playoffs. You know, it's all about good leadership. I don't know about all that, but I know oh, yeah. I know they stepped up when we needed them, and uh, we came through. We got a big win. Talking about leadership. Morgan Hank, nine kills. Hey! Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Couldn't have done it without the crew. They're all focusing on everybody but me, so I just kind of scoop them up. You the man. Let's I'm give out. it up for the Benjamins. Woo! Back to you guys. Thanks a lot, Michelle. You had it your way, and here's who you selected as today's Burger King, King of the Court. So let's take a look at our league standings. With one more week left in the regular season, here's how it looks. New York sits atop the league at 7-2. Phillies in second, they finish their season at 7-3. Chicago's in third, they're 6-3. Denver in fourth at 4-5, four they'll be playing for their playoff lives next week. L.A. finished the season 4-6, and, and Detroit slips to 0-9. Ouch! I'm the pride of Evergreen Park, Illinois, Bill Dwyer. And I look incredible in a shredded pair of jeans, sword, some Zach Selwyn. Thanks for watching.